Hey guys, this is the driving video for the 2009 Mercedes-Benz CL65. Um, the CL body style in general, super cool. Um, it is a kind of a longer C-class with the pillarless windows. Um, super awesome, we'll just give you a quick demo. Check that out. No B-pillar, just all open. Just absolutely so cool. Um, in terms of, you know, how the car drives, it is super smooth. Let's close this back window. Feels like you're riding on air. I don't, I don't believe that this car does have air suspension, uh, but nonetheless, it does feel like it does. Um, super smooth. It has the twin turbo V12. Um, I believe it's a, it's, it's just the 65. It's a 6.4 liter, 6.5 liter V12. Um, bi turbo. A lot of power. Yeah, it's a bi turbo. Um, let's see the V12 badge right there. It has you know heated seats. Sorts of cool features, heat. There's a disc changer in here, which is pretty neat. Cup holders, all sorts of standard equipment. Um, cool thing about I these cars. There's in here. Phone. Is there? Look, it opens for both ways. Oh, How about fancy that? Fancy schmancy. Oh wow, look, we do have a phone in there. Very cool. Um, beautiful wood grain all over the interior. This is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Uh, we're just gonna not get t-boned here the seats as well are all yeah diamond stitched like that absolutely beautiful and for being a long wheelbase coupe the back seats are actually huge um, i could comfortably sit back there uh, we got a sunroof i was back there sunroof yeah. too huge full alcantara headliner just absolutely gorgeous for your shades we'll store them up in here the car has plenty of power dash goes up to 220. can it do that i don't know will it look good trying absolutely um paddle shifter is pretty cool shift it down to third let's give it some gas and it just picks up and goes right there that's 70. i don't i don't want to push it too hard these are some tight back roads but we got a cool little amg little clock right here which is pretty neat all sorts of adjustable seat controls we have our bolster controls all sorts of cool stuff radio works let's see how do i turn that volume here. Steering wheel. Or here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, nobody really cares about that though. Um, yeah, this car has only 23,354 miles, so barely broken in in my book um, from 09, especially. Just absolutely super cool. Um, you guys will see in the pictures, but the paint's absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's just a cool, nice, nice end of the day here. We're just cruising around in this thing, having a good time. Um, this would make for a great family car, you know, car to drive around on the weekends. Um, or, you know, daily driver even. Take these turns, and as you do, these driver's seat bolsters actually hug you and keep you in place really well. Um, so it's a really cool feature. Uh, what else can I tell you about the car? It, like, it fills up with yeah, air. Yeah, it like, fills up with air in the side. Let's see what else we got. We have, I know we have navigation <laughs> nav here. Right. It's kind of all dated a little bit, just obviously it's 2009, but here we How's go. How's the steering feel? Navigation right? steering is, it's tight yet you know comfortable so we do have some body roll it's not a necessarily sports car it's not like you're driving a 911 but at the same time like yeah, in the straights like this thing just absolutely picks up and goes really cool lost a little bit of traction there just because it's a bumpy road but this thing holds it down absolutely phenomenally um taking these turns here and i'm just cruising taking these at 50 and it doesn't even feel like it's smooth as Run over at 2,000 RPM, still moving at 50. Pretty <laughs> impressive. <laughs> Went up that hill like we were going downhill. <laughs> I know, right? Um, absolutely as much power as you need. Like I got, this is a disgusting amount of power. Just there, that was 80. Right. And it it's, does not feel like it. does not feel like it. Like, it's pretty gross. <laughs> um, really cool. From the outside, the car sounds insane. That twin turbo V12 just sounds absolutely unique. Super cool. Um, these engines are just good in general. Um, obviously, higher mileage ones can run into some issues, but this sitting at as low mileage as it is, it you know you don't really need to worry about anything like that. Uh, super super awesome car. I uh, don't really have anything else more to say, but you guys can just enjoy the beautiful V12 sounds. I'll roll these windows down. Wow, you roll the windows down, you realize how fast you're going. It's so quiet in the Very cabin. Quiet. Such a big car, it actually stays pretty planted. Really, for a rear wheel drive, it's a 
drive twin turbo V12, like you can't, you can't complain, not at all. I'll turn around over here in this parking lot. Uh, shifts absolutely beautifully. I don't know if you guys can hear it super well, but my God, does it sound good? Let's turn around. These B pose when it just make you feel like you're a gangster. Sport mode, comfort mode, and manual mode. God knows if I know what sport or comfort di the difference does. My guess is that it changed the damping of the suspension. And actually, I was wrong. The car does have air suspension. My apologies. Um, I just was not aware. Um, not in these cars too often. Here's a cool little phone you got in there as well. Pretty neat stuff. All around, just a, a car that exudes and, you know, screams luxury. Nothing else you can really ask for. Anything to add, Dylan? No, it has everything you would expect a Mercedes to have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These early 2000s Mercedes, just they did it right, very right. And it's just classy. Look, look at all the wood, black leather, diamond stitch seats, hock into our headliner, just absolutely gorgeous. A body style like this is just, it's unbeatable. Looks better than all the M cars, in my opinion. Not a single one comes close. And uh, honestly, I say the same thing for Mercedes. This is the best body style, in my opinion. Looks just absolutely amazing. we got in here, this nav screen, um, nav, telephone, video, I'm curious what that is, picture is faded out while vehicle is motion, interesting, in vehicle, we have all sorts of adjustable things, um, which I won't mess with too much because I am driving, but Dylan wants to feel free, besides that, I mean, what do we got in here, manual, is it locked, I guess it's locked, Many options for your seat. You can set up to three different options. Pretty neat. You have your built in garage door openers, full sunroof. I'm not going to open it again. It's pretty cold out. We're going to head back to the dealership now. With the paddle shift, it shifts absolutely phenomenally. A lot of these M cars I've been driving recently, um, notice there's a bit of a delay, but this thing is just absolutely on money. Yeah. The only thing I've felt pushed back in my seat with this much force is. Probably Joey's Tesla. <laughs> you hear it here for first, folks. He's comparing this twin turbo V12 to a Tesla. I mean, that thing goes. It does. I don't think that, you know, this would probably outdo the Tesla in the long haul because the battery would die in the Tesla. But this <laughs> That's thing. That's true. Also, the top end. Those Teslas kind of fall on their face when you get over 80. Uh, but this car just keeps going. But from like, from the pedal, you know what I mean? Go yeah. hitting gas, yeah. it goes. Acceleration, that makes sense. Either way, wood green steering wheel, wood green interior. Um, I don't know if these ever came with a option with the carbon fiber, but if they did, I'm sure it would be cool. But I think this is pretty top notch. I don't know if we have a window sticker. What do we do? Uh, not sure, I have to double check. If we do, I'd be very curious to see the kind of options and how much this thing cost brand new. Um, my guess is it was. I know the S65, but this is the L65. The S65 was two hundred twelve thousand yeah, dollars brand so this new. This is probably somewhere in the ballpark of two hundred plus thousand dollars, which is pretty absurd to think about in today's day and age. Two hundred plus thousand dollars, you're getting a lot of car, and it's it's no different here. But and two hundred thousand dollars ten years ago. Big difference. It is true. Um, I'm just gonna head back to the shop now. Again, the car only has 23,359 miles. Um, just absolutely ridiculous. I, it's a shame somebody bought this car and decided just not to use it. Um, but I guess for us, it's just a great thing. We also have this. You can't really tell very much yet. It says night view assist only when it's dark, which makes sense, but usually you can have night vision come up on your screen. It's pretty cool. It shows you where if there's any animals running in the road or anything like that. Um, there's all sorts of weird settings that these cars have. 
I, I can't really mess with it right now, but what I can say is that all of them work, all of the features work. Yeah. Car drives phenomenally as you would expect it to with 23,000 miles. And I would say if interested in this car, definitely be worth doing some research for all the extra accessories yeah. and options. Of course. Um, either way, I know there's front and rear sensors as well. The heat does blow very hot. It'll heat up very quickly. Um, just overall, very cool car. I, I, I don't have any complaints. You have heated seats on the sides. You have vented seats on the sides as well. So if you want your tush cold or hot, you got it either way you like it already, even just by turning that on for a second. I'm not yeah. sweating. Um, Hands-free mode. Obviously, it's a bit dated considering the year. This guy would like to go in his Kia Soul, then I would gladly give it a little bit of a rev. Let's hear what it sounds like. Wow. Just an absolute monster. It and sounds so clean when it, yeah. you know, that rumble. Mm -hmm. There's also blind spot assist on either side, which is pretty cool for you to distract the drivers. On that note, enjoy the auction, guys. Thanks for watching. Should I pull it in?